Well, hey, hi, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Minecraft. Reborn. We're playing the 1.9 pre-release 5 beta Minecraft awesomeness, and we have completed our first quest, and that was to... Or we've completed our second quest. Our first quest was to procure three... Uh, uh, you know what? Three, three diamond, at least so that we could craft a diamond pickaxe. The second goal was to procure the amount of obsidian needed to build a nether portal. Well, that quest, as you can see, right now, is secured. Oh, and it's raining. So now we're going to complete the third quest, and that is to build access to and to enter the nether itself. Oh boy, I screwed this up, didn't I? That's alright, I got my shovel here. I'll just kind of dig this out. There we go. Do this instead so I don't make that mistake next time. So now it's raining and my roof is leaking and we got problems. But it is daytime. So hopefully you all can hear. It's another nice thing about having a cave system right under your spawn or where you set up is that you aren't too far away from your stuff so it'll keep uh, crafting while you're away there you go notch if you have a cauldron out in the open when it rains it automatically fills it for you just say it that would be a nice aesthetic alright so we have the obsidian for the job and now it's time to build the portal and I'm just gonna make a separate room for this in the house so I'd like to build on this house too while I'm while I'm playing this so let's do that uh, I need to put more dirt down and that's another reason like I said why I got all this wood because I was building a wooden house so you figure I should really use that wood for that purpose I'm also gonna make a pitched roof and for that I will need lots of stairs. I'm gonna need flat stones too, but I'll start with the stairs and uh, work our way up. I better put a scaffold on here too. That way it's uh, it's easier. I don't know. Alright. So let's get rid of this. And this is where the obsidian base will go. And I'm actually going to have to take this down, where I put these stairs. This has to, this has to go away. I hope it stops raining soon. It's kind of noisy. Maybe I'll turn this down a little bit more just so, oh, never mind, it stopped. Never, no, it didn't. There we go. That's a little more tolerable for now. Because I wanted to build this a little taller to make the room more epic. And then I can pitch the roof accordingly. But I do need more dirt. So these got to be switched out. They say dirt is useful if you have a lot of creeper damage. Other than that, <coughs> it is <coughs> useless. I will fill all of this here. Then I can build wooden stairs to cover the front of the place. Even though you can't actually go in here, I can still make it look uh, nicer that way. So this is going to be... Uh, Actually, I might set this back a little bit, like that. So I'll put, uh, you big dummy, putting the gr the dirt back in here, and then this goes like so. There. Now it's right. 
And it's away two there, two there. Okay, good. I just want to make sure these dimensions are correct, so I only have to do it once. I might double this as the brewing room and the library. I haven't decided yet. But it seems like I built it big enough for everything. I just have to subdivide it. And I need more planks. Yeah. I can also make a second story, but for now it's okay. Oh no, that's all the wood. That's alright, I've got more. <laughs> have to go around the back of this place so I can get on my scaffold. just have to make it tall enough, first of all, for the portal to exist, and also to make the room more epic looking. Like, yes, this is my grand entrance hole, but it makes sense, too, so that everything's right together, and when I want to transition between worlds, I don't have to go too far. The end, uh, the, the stronghold I can't help, because that's pre-generated, but I can choose where I want to enter the nether, so I will. Because I'm pretty sure the, eye of, the uh, portal blocks used for the eye, uh, eye of Enders to go to the, that are in the stronghold, you can't you can't move them once once they're they're uh, they're moved. That's it. Okay. I think this is how I want to do this. Let me get more wood logs. That's why I got them. That's why I spent ten minutes of the first episode grabbing planks. Figured I was gonna need them. We're also going to have to improve the scaffold. There we go. So now I'm making this taller. I want to make it so that the roof... Yeah, that'll work. I'll just keep angling it up sideways like this. And it'll butt up against this one. But this will be pitched the other way. So it'll 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 blend nicely, you'll see. It's be a tall roof for that's for sure. Cause the basic idea is this roof goes this way and angles straight up like that. And then the other roof is gonna pitch the other way. So this one will have to be pitched into that one. I think it'll work out. I just have to make sure I plan this one properly. Yes. There we go. And now from this side, do that. There. Okay, it's going to be like that then. That works. Same thing on this side. double up on these that make a little swifter so for all of you who wanted me to do more building here it is there I notice I screwed up over here also yep this has to go down one I thought there was something weird about that it didn't look right and turns out it wasn't <laughs> if only you could see my face when I do those voices okay now, I don't think I have enough stairs for all of this, but it's a start, and they're not hard to get. But I'd like to put this roof on so at least my inside stays dry, even though I still have a, gr a grass carpeting. You know, I like to make it, make it pleasing. At least I can do. Hmm. I just realized I could have made this more awesome, but I'm just going to do it this way. Maybe in the future, if I decide to change it, I'll do it off camera. And the night is here. Okay. I only have enough stairs for one of these. So the nether room won't be covered, but at least this this room is now. 
I could say that at least. Well, kind of. There's still a hole there. The other thing is, the interior part of this is uh, going to be designed in case I do want to build a second floor. I build the room equal and I put uh, uh, brown wool around this ring and then right in the middle goes some glowstone which we're gonna go get right now because yeah it's time so I'm putting these torches here just uh, just so I can see what I'm doing up oh, can't put it there and of course I need a flint and steel Just one. I wonder if Notch is ever going to make more uses for that flint and steel, other than lighting the portal and lighting netherrack. Where's my... there it is. Now the only thing I really need for this trip is the armor I have on me. My breastplate is a little low, so I might just put on this one. And then I'll put the axe and the planks back. I want to keep this dirt and stone on me in case I have to build up something, but I'm going to get so much nether rack in there, it's almost stupid to, to try. So, I will first of all build the portal. That's important. I did it against the wall too so that it's easier to build. I can kind of just paste it there. <laughs> That's cool. <coughs> and it's got glowstone on each corner to make it look amazing. Because <coughs> you can't tell that they're missing on the bottom, but you can on the top, so. Oh, yeah. So, they're only, only half the video is done, so I can't transition. Uh, but I am ready to do this. So, let's put on our breastplate. And now that I think about it, I'm going to leave the watch here since it did cost me four gold and I'm not going to need it in there anyway. I'm going to leave the coal behind and only take the torches that I will absolutely use. Which is not many because it's not too hard to see in there. The food obviously comes with me. And I'm going to take the flint and steel just, just because I can. I'll put this back because that's getting getting tossed later. Alright guys, we are ready to begin. And here we go. I don't know what this nether is going to be like. Alright, first things first. I'm going to turn this back up a little bit. And then I'm going to mark our exact location. Negative 16, 16. All right, so we're right around the origin. That seems to be the way it goes with these usually. Huh. A little light glitch going on. But I also noticed that I right away am next to glowstone. And that is what's up. Because I need this for making glowstone blocks to make an alternative light source but I also need them because they are a crucial ingredient if you want to make some good potions. So the idea here is uh, to find to to find a uh, a stronghold or uh, ruins, find some nether ward, but also pick up mushrooms along the way. That's important. And you know that way it's it's just. It's better in the future. So let's see what we got going on over here. Wow. That's death waiting to happen, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just going to run in a random direction and see if I can find some, some ruins. Because I have this feeling that it, I, it doesn't really matter which way you go. Uh, you're going to run into something. It will eventually generate. I don't know that there's any like way to do it or how close you are. Oh, crap. Of course, you got to deal with the ghasts. 
And maybe I'll get lucky and I will get a couple of gas tears. Who knows? Ooh, this one's not over lava. I might have a chance. Let's jump down here and see if we can... Because he's going to drop down here and I'm totally going to kill him. Maybe. That's a pretty tall ceiling. And there is... Yeah. Here he comes. Alright, this is my chance. Yeah! Oh, he dropped a gunpowder. But did I get a gas tier? No. No gas tier. Man, are they tough to get. Either that or it fell into the lava. I can't tell. It didn't look like it dropped. It looked like I just got a gunpowder. So, oh well. But I forgot I had those arrows, so that's totally awesome. And I forgot the fact that gas are extremely weak. Their fireballs might be a little more powerful according to the latest tweets and crap, but they still don't scare me. Not really. Alright. See, this is why I need... <laughs> See, the, the irony of this is it would be a lot easier to find one of these places if you had fire resistance potion. But you have to come here and find nether wart in order to end, or nether wart and blaze rod in order to get the ability to make fire resistant potions. So that's a real kick in the pants right there. But these aren't all that difficult to find and I just went in a circle. You just have to keep running and eventually one will appear. Plus, I've got enough health food to make my way to one, but they're usually within 300 blocks of where you entered. And right now I'm at 5984, so I'm not very far from the spawn. Oh, hello, toadstools. This is also why we came. We want to make, be able to create tons of stew uh, for, for our uh, dinner. I also understand that mushrooms are part of uh, the new potion craft, which hasn't actually come out yet. Oh, and here's brown mushrooms, so that's that's the whole thing right there. I didn't bring any wood to make a crafting table to make this stew, because I have other health food with me, but it's a good idea to, to collect it anyway. And if I get into trouble, I'll go back to this, this portal, since it's right next to my home chest, and that way I can, can make it back. I'm looking in the corner of the screen because that's the only real way I can see anything with this render distance the way it is. Oh, hey, Glowstone. Might as well collect you while we're here. Yeah, like I said, if we find a really good ruin and I can get uh, a nice pile of uh, nether wart, I won't worry about uh, generating more. But 20 nether wart only gets you 60 potions, and believe me, 60 potions goes pretty fast. It doesn't take long to drink all those, especially if you screw them up. I screwed up a lot of potions before I actually made some that, you know, were, were beneficial. So, there's that. But, uh, yeah. Alright, this is getting nowhere fast. <laughs> a lot of soul sand over here, though. You need soul sand if you want to make another wart farm, by the way. In case anyone wondered. It only grows on soul sand, and they can't be touching. Like how cactus has to, can only be uh, placed if it's uh, diagonal to another one. It can't be touching it. Well, nether wart is the same way when it matures. It won't mature to its final state, which is the one that you can actually uh, collect it and gain more, until you've actually uh, let it mature to its third and final stage. And that doesn't happen unless it's not touching any other nether wart. So there's that. I'm back at the, the spawn. My portal's right over there. What the heck? <laughs> or it was. Yeah. I'm close to it. But still, man. I'm uh, I'm not I'm going nowhere fast. Let's go down here and see what this is all about. Oops, I gotta eat. Oh, there's another gas. Batter up! Oh, I missed. 
Hoo-ya! Nope, that didn't work. Now, there's an achievement called Return to Sender. And you've, you guys probably saw this on the achievements list. You have to actually hit the fireball, or hit the gas with the fireball, and kill it. And I don't know about you, but that right there is... That's pushing it, even for Notch. Unless you can get it, I guess, get him above your head. I guess it's the only way you could do that. Because otherwise, other than that, I don't see how it's possible. Oh, crap, now I got a gas shooting at me, and I got to... Well, I can hit him once with this arrow, as long as it's straight and true. Crap. See, this doesn't work, because he keeps moving around. Unless I get lucky and he moves into the path of the fireball. Maybe, uh, yeah, there we go. He's far enough away now. I can uh, do what I came to do over here. And that is to transverse to over... Oh, there, there we go. Found it. All right. I figured I'd have to do this to get over there. But I found the ruins, so... Now we've completed three of the seven quests that uh, we have that I've set before us, and I really do this as a way of of ultimately beta testing everything that's happened in the game, but also to show the kind of balance that the long-term gameplay uh, is affected. You know, how well is it designed? Its short-term play is great, but how well is it designed for the long-term play? And that's really why I do this. Plus, it's fun, and I know you guys love watching it, so that's why I do it. Okay, I'm just gonna make my uh, treacherous uh, plummet or er, uh, path over here, because you can clearly see it now. There's the the nether brick, and that's uh, that's the the destination, right? That's the ruins, right there. Oh yeah, that's a, that looks like a big bridge too. It's gonna be fun inside there, especially when I'm fighting those blazes. They're not fun and they're not easy, uh, but blaze powder is valuable enough that it's it's worth fighting them for it and I was wrong by the way the compass doesn't work in here at all Wow I'm gonna have to jeepers how the they look like big ruins anyway I'm gonna work my way over here this isn't as bad as one ruin that I found that was really really far away from uh, from where I entered and it was a pain getting back and forth getting blaze powder so I just hunted blazes for an hour and I never had to go back can I get another stack please thank you but yeah I pretty much circumvented this entire part of the nether right here I think I'm gonna use this now so I can gain more instead of using it all up because I use the nether rack since it, I like this texture of it, I use it in the enchantment room where I put the book. So, I need plenty of that. I don't collect any of the nether brick or anything like that. I don't really see the need for it. Alright, tell you what, it's bridge time. Unless a, a ghast surprises me, I'm going to use a bridge to get over here because, yeah, well. That's a big, a big ruin. From what I can see, looks like it's going to be a good time. And this will be a surefire way for me to be able to tell from, from those bridges up there where it is exactly that I am, so I can find the, the way out. And we're almost there, I think. Yes. There we go. I should make it wider, but... I'm not going to. You remember my nether adventures the first time. It was, uh, it was just like that. I, I almost got killed a few times, but I survived it. What? It goes all the way over here? Well, first I needed to find a way up there. I didn't want to have to tower. That sucks. Oh, I'm sorry. That's interesting. So, try to do it this way. Maybe it goes all the way over here. Wouldn't that be great? I don't think it does. Alright. 
just means that uh, I have to Wow, floating nether nether wreck. <laughs> oh, I hate that. Oh, is that a floating island in the nether? Nice. Wait, wait, is it? I can't tell. I almost killed myself. Whew, that'll give you a rush of anxiety. All right, let's let's quit screwing around and go back and and find a way into this place. See, I see this pillar right here, nether brick, but I can't tell what it hooks up to because it just goes into the ceiling. But you gotta start somewhere, right? See if there's anything over here I can use. Nope, that's it. That's how we're gonna get into this place. We're gonna have to tower. Unless... No, I have to tower. Why not? I don't see any other way to get in there. If this is even... If this even is a way in find out must be because I'm digging straight up okay so now I'm hitting solid nether brick huh. oh, okay that is access Woohoo! But I hear something. Oh, it's a blaze! <laughs> what did I emerge right under a spawner? Holy crap! That's not the most surprising thing that ever happened to me. Alright, let's see if we can. Uh, this would be excellent if I could make a blaze uh, fighting machine. Yeah, no kidding. Where'd he go? Ah, oh, crap. He, he flew out of the way. Nice. Yeah, did I get any blaze? No, no blaze rod. Darn. Oh, now I hear a ghast. <laughs> Alright, we'll do this. So the way in that I found turned out to be right where a blaze was, and that's pretty hilarious, because that means I'm right near a spawner. Yep, there's the other one. Where are you? Get back down here. Show yourself! Nice, there's a third one. Oh yeah, blaze powder, or blaze rod. So this blaze rod will make our, oh crap. They just keep coming. I could just stand here and do this. I am going to have to destroy that spawner eventually though. Yeah, blaze rods. Ah, you know what? This this is This is tough. How am I going to do this? I guess all right, I'm going to get rid of these blocks, and then I'll uh, try to figure out a way to get around the outside of this, because these guys are just going to keep coming, and if they, as soon as they see you, they fire that, that fire at you, and it hurts. It takes three hearts, yeah, see, it takes three hearts right away. I mean, I know I have armor and I have health, but still... Well, we're going to find out what happens in the next episode. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.